In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to reset the end in your Minecraft world when you're using Eternos server hosting. Now, it's very simple to do. Maybe you want to go ahead and fight the Ender Dragon again. Uh, maybe there's another reason you want to do it, but to do it is very, very simple. Just follow along closely so you get every step correct. So first of all, you need to go ahead and you need to exit out of your Minecraft server just like this. And we need to go ahead and stop the server. So to stop the server, you need to go to your Eternos dashboard like this. Make sure you're logged into your account and press on the stop button here. Now this is going to stop the server and this is essential. It's also going to go ahead and save some of your data here. Now once you've done that and it's offline and it's saved, you want to go over to the left hand side here and go to where it says worlds. Now over here you should see a section that's called world uh, underscore end or something like that. And essentially next to that world, there's going to be a button that says delete. So you want to go ahead onto the delete button and delete it. Now you can go ahead and back it up first if you'd like to. You can download it just in case you might want to go back to it at some other time. Go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, you can go back to your server options up here. You can go ahead and start it again. And this is going to regenerate the end world. So the next time you go to it, it'll be a completely fresh um, spawn. It'll be a completely fresh world. And you can go ahead and explore it again from fresh. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about Minecraft or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.